What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Charm City Autographs. Uh, so far, you guys have seen videos of the baseball cards that I've been able to get signed during spring training, but I haven't made a video yet of the other items that I've been able to get signed during spring training, and I wanted to go ahead and share some of those items with y'all that I've been able to get done. Uh, this will be a two-part video. Uh, this is only the stuff that I have. I'll make another video with the kiddos because they have a lot more stuff signed uh, than I do that's uh, non-baseball cards. So I was just going to go in order of the items that I got signed in person. Uh, so one of the cool things about being in uh, specifically Tucson, Arizona is it's they don't have MLB spring training anymore. All those teams went up to the Phoenix area. So that means we have a lot of uh, world-class baseball facilities down here in Tucson that aren't being used. So that means foreign teams come in. Uh, we get teams from Taiwan, Korea, and Mexico that use the facilities. So somebody like me that has baseball cards <laughs> of all those people it uh it's kind of a field day for me and uh helps you clean up on autographs so first up we have i'll try and uh get this all in the picture is let me uh zoom out for y'all so i have a hyunsoo kim uh philadelphia phillies game used jersey from last year uh, I can't remember if this is their home or away. I think the pinstripe is the home jersey. But here on the side, it has the Darren Dalton patch for him. He uh, passed away during the season. And here on the left sleeve, it has Kim's number. He was number 31 uh, for the Phillies after he got traded from the Orioles. And then down here, you have... The MLB hologram. And then another thing they were doing on the jerseys that started a few years back is with the uh, the barcode. So I ended up getting uh, Hyunsu to sign it on the back. Uh, I got it signed in silver. It, I mean, depending on the light, it, it looks good. And then sometimes it looks really bad. Uh, another one of the things that uh, Korean players do is they always put their uh, number on the jersey. And since he was with the LG Twins in spring training, uh, when I got this signed, he signed it in uh, number 22, which is uh, his number with the LG Twins. But it was still pretty cool to uh, be able to get it signed. Uh, <clears throat> the Phillies said that that jersey was... Uh, team issued, which means it wasn't used in a game. But one of the cool things about pinstripe jerseys is they are extremely easy to photo match. So I should be able to see if that was used in a game or not. Uh, next up, we have a couple bats that I was able to get from the NC Dinos. Uh, the first player I have is Shim J. Yoon. Uh, number 40 for the NC Dinos. Uh, I don't believe he has played in a KBO game at all. Uh, I tried to find out some info about him on my KBO stats, and there wasn't anything on there uh, about him as far as stats go. So, I mean, they have his bio and everything, but no stats. So I believe he's just still in the Futures League. Uh, next up. I was able to get a bat from E.J. Yule from the NC Dinos. Uh, his stats aren't much better than uh, Shim Jae Yoon. Uh, the only thing about this dude is he's actually played in the KBO. And uh, just like Shim's bat, it's a Trinity bat. Uh, has the KBO logo in it. Uh, I really like the... Uh, the shade of this one it's kind of like a, a smoky gray so maybe next year if the NC dinos come back to Arizona I'll be able to get those signed 
Uh, next up, we have a pretty cool story with these bats. Uh, the Nexon Heroes spent the entire uh, their entire spring training down here, and I became friends with their pitching coach, Brandon Knight, who is also uh, best friends with Park Byung Ho, who spent the past two years uh, with the Minnesota Twins. Last year, he was in AAA all year, but the year before that, he played in a few games with the Twins. Uh, I believe he ended up hitting seven home runs. Uh, during that season, but this year he was back with uh, Nexon, and like I said, I became friends with uh, Brandon Knight, and Byung Ho was friends with him, so I invited Brandon Knight to come to where I work. Um, if you guys, I think most people know, I'm in the Air Force, so I gave those uh, guys a tour of where I work and brought them on the base. So I got to hang out with Brandon Knight and uh, Park Byung Ho for, I don't know, two or three hours. Uh, so I I was going to see the uh, uh, the heroes. Uh, I, I came back down to see them in their last uh, practice before they were uh, heading back to Korea. So I got a uh, I got a text message from Brandon. And he told me, hey, don't leave. Byung-ho wants to uh, thank you. So it, it, it was kind of cool because my son was with me. So uh, Byung-ho came over and gave me and my son uh, one of his bats. Uh, not broken, by the way. And uh, it has the lizard skin wrap on it, which is uh, pretty awesome. And it's uh, so it's a BMC bat, uh, Bang-1 or Bang, Bang-1. And has his uh, facsimile autograph. He uh, signed it for us. And one of the cool things with his bats is it has his logo here uh, on the knob. It says, I don't know if you guys can read it or if it'll focus. But it has his logo. It says Park Bang. Park Bang on it. On the uh, knob. So that was that bat. Uh, I think that's the one I ended up getting out of the deal because my son, he claimed this next one uh, because he liked the lizard skin wrap on it. But everything's the same about this bat other than the color scheme on the end. And then this one is black and... Uh, Black and natural. So it was it was pretty cool. Uh Young Ho, really, really nice guy. Uh I think he kinda got done dirty in the MLB. Probably should have gotten more of a chance, kinda like uh Hyun Soo Kim with the Orioles and the Phillies. So that was all the uh all the swag, I guess you would uh you could say from all of the uh, Korean players. Uh, next up, we have... I ended up getting this bat by accident. Uh, me and the kiddos were at a minor league game watching the Padres. And one of the players broke their bat. So after the game, like my kids do every game, they ask all the players if they have any broken bats. So one of the players actually uh, gave him this bat. And I got to looking at it, and I realized that it was a Luis Urias bat. Uh, and it has, it, it wasn't broken by Luis, but it has his uh, number from this year in spring training. In the uh, end of the barrel, number 85. And for those of you who don't know who uh, Luis Urias is, he's a... Uh, 20 year old uh, in AAA already for the San Diego Padres. He's the Padres' number three ranked prospect, and he's the number 36th uh, overall prospect in all of baseball. Uh, I was only able to get Luis's autograph twice uh, during the entire spring because uh, he's, he's really, really tough, and uh, people are expecting good things. So next up we have 
a set of, a set of batting gloves uh, from Mason House of the San Diego Padres. He was a third round draft pick last year. Uh, the story with these is, uh, so me and my kids would always go to the backfields with the Padres because that's where normally there's not a lot of crowds. You may see one or two minor leaguers, but normally it's, uh, or I'm sorry, you may see one or two major leaguers, but normally it's all minor leaguers. So it, it's really easy to get autographs because not a lot of people, uh, or want to see minor leaguers, but, uh. So my youngest was uh, running around with uh, one of his brothers getting a bat signed. And one of the players put their, uh, one of the Padres players put their batting helmet on my youngest son's head. He's, he's about, uh, well, not about, he, he's two. Uh, and, and the players thought that were funny, or thought that was funny. So uh, Mason put his batting gloves on him. Uh, another player put his shin guard on him and his elbow guard, and then uh, the little guy didn't like all the attention. Uh, so he, so he kind of got freaked out, and uh, Mason felt bad, so he he gave him these uh, batting gloves. So I got a cool picture out of it. Uh, little guy's all decked out in Padres gear, and he's uh, crying with his brother. Uh, so. The last item I have, I, I didn't think, honestly, anything could uh, top uh, getting two bats from uh, Park Byung-ho. But my favorite uh, baseball player, um, second only to Cal Ripken, you know, growing up in Maryland, everybody loved Cal Ripken. Uh, so my s favorite active player, I guess you would say, uh, is Jason Wirth. And he is with the uh, Seattle Mariners now, and they have spring training in Arizona. Uh, so me and my kids ended up meeting Jason the other day, and I told him how the first time I met him, or it wasn't actually the first time, but uh, the last time I got his autograph was 20 years ago. Uh, his his minor league team, the Delmarva Shorebirds, were playing my hometown minor league team, the Hagerstown Suns. I can't remember if it was the first or second round of the South Atlantic League playoffs, but the Hagerstown Suns won. They eliminated the Delmarva Shorebirds, so me and my friend waited after the game, and we asked Jason for his hat, and he actually gave me his uh, hat from the Delmarva Shorebirds. So I have maybe the second... Uh, minor league hat he ever wore. I I still have it uh in a box with all my uh other baseball stuff. But uh, so I told him my story, talked to him for a little bit, and uh, he ended up giving me uh one of his bats. That was a pretty awesome thing for him to do. Uh, and then like a lot of players nowadays on the bat knob it it doesn't have his name but it had his number in, uh in the washington nationals logo because that's where he came from uh this is the first bat though that i have a the bat knob is like this it's a uh, pretty cool actually all the bats i always all the bats i get i always swing them because i'm a big nerd like that and you would think that it would be hard to hold on to without a traditional knob like some of the other ones but uh it actually wasn't that bad and it, it kind of felt like it was more comfortable than the other ones but uh yeah so that's all for this video like i said uh this is a two-parter because the kiddos uh try and film a video with them this weekend with all the bats that they have so you guys have that to look forward to but uh Thanks for viewing, uh, like, share, leave some comments, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.